The screen is measured at uh, 4.5 inches. It's a 720 by 1080p screen. The pixels per inch are 326, which is a lot as compared to many other phones. So viewing angles are great. Uh, text is sharp. Its colors are crisp. They're vivid. They're very nice. I don't see any washed colors, any pixels or anything. I don't no notice any of that. So in terms of colors and display, this phone, I would give it a big thumbs up. Now, on the memory side, it does have an SD card slot for those of you who want to expand memory while the internal memory is 2 gigabytes. However, if you happen to grab a brand new one, then it comes with 8 gigabyte included and 8 gigabyte memory card. Now in terms of carrier speed, this is an LTE device as I mentioned, so it's pretty fast. You can get downloads of up to 75 megabits per second, which is blazing fast. Depends on what kind of network you are and obviously LTE is the fastest. Now, in terms of connectivity, we, this phone has uh, Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth, it has GPS, but there is no NFC for some reason. LG has chosen not to put any NFC on this device, so that's a drawback, but the good part is, for those of you who do not tend to use NFC, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS is present. So that's something good about it. <clears throat> the f it has a front-facing camera which comes in at 1.3 megapixels. That's, I would say, your average smartphone nowadays. The S3, the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 4, they all have a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera. So that's something to notice. The back camera, however, is 8 megapixels. It has autofocus and an LED flash. It takes really great pictures. We'll just jump into the gallery and I'll show you guys some of the pictures. As you can see the gallery is very nice as well. So decent pictures guys. I would say it takes very good qualities on par with the Nexus 4. I won't really say it's as good as the Galaxy S3 or the Nokia Lumia 920, but I would say it sh takes really nice pictures and they really come out very well. So that's that for the pictures and the camera quality. It also shoots video. I haven't happened to record any video, however, but it shoots 1080p video for those of you who want to be recording videos as well. <coughs> And uh, the software on this phone might disappoint some of you who are jelly bean or ice cream sandwich people. It's actually Android 2.3.5 Gingerbread. There is a plan to upgrade to um, 4.0 ice cream sandwich somewhere near in the future, but for now we're, we're on gingerbread for now. So yeah, that's that. But nothing to be sad about guys, the phone is very fast, the processor is a Qualcomm MDM9200 and it's a dual core 1.5 GHz Scorpion processor so it is blazing fast, it is very fast, very smooth and don't forget guys, this is an Android phone, you can root it, you can install custom ROMs if you don't like LG's UI, you don't like LG's interface, you can always go ahead and tweak settings, you can install launchers, you can do many other things because of the fact that this is an Android phone. So a ton of things can be done. Now this phone only comes in black, it doesn't come in white, red, blue or any other color you might think of. It's only in black and you can get it on contract on any of the carriers for around zero to fifty dollars depend on what carrier you go with however this phone retails from around three hundred to four hundred dollars brand new which is not a bad price at all but considering that the Nexus 4 is 299 you might want to think about it twice because <clears throat> Nexus 4 is a brand new phone but if you love this phone and you Want, like the fact that it has expandable storage and LTE, which the Nexus 4 doesn't, then you should definitely go for this, guys. It's a great buy. The battery that, that I haven't spoken about is 1850 milliamp. I'll just go ahead and open it up. 1830, sorry. 
yeah, it's right there, 1830 milliamp hour battery. It does a good job, it lasts very long. I think the screen time is around um, maybe th three hours, four hours. It lasts me morning charge and it lasts until the night time. So that's a good thing. So that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. If you like this review and you'd like to see a lot more, do give the video a thumbs up and do subscribe as that helps me a lot. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram if you like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.